Hello students, today we are going to learn about the different data types in your Dart programming. Under the Dart programming, you will get the similar data type like your C program. So let's see what are the different data types available in your Dart programming. Like your C programming, first you will get the num uh, int data type for your number. So data types are divided into subcategory like number, strings, boolean, list and the maps. Here, uh, for the numbers, you will get the integer, double, num, and begin as well. Similarly, for the string, you have one single keyword that is a string data type. For boolean input, you can use the bool. Similarly, for the list, you can use the list data type here. And maps, which will further use in the practical number two. So without wasting time, let's get started with your programming part. So first, I will create here new project you have to select your SDK file and then give your project name and then you have to create. Now as you know we are just going to learn about the basics of your Dart programming so we just need our main function that is void main. So void main is the entry point of your program like your C programming. So let's see what we are going to learn today. So under your practical number one first we'll learn about the different data types. So suppose if you want to create the integer variable then you just have to write the int and you can assign any value under the integer. Similarly for the double as well you have to write double and you can assign the double value here. Now the next part for the boolean you have to write bool then your variable name again and then you can assign any boolean value with the small letter that is true or the false and for the string you have to create the string variable here. Now the string variable if you are declaring then you have to use the double quotes to declare any string under the string variable and it is quite simple to print them if you want to print them you just have to write the variable name example i want to print my num so i will write num as you can see if you are not using any variable it will be in the gray shade so if you are using them it will convert it into the white color now the next part i will again use my third variable that is num3 and then the last one i will print my num4 or the string1 now I will run my program so after running your program you can see no connected device are found so first in the first run you have to use this green button run main dot dart so after running that part you will get the output as you can see the outputs are under your console only so here on the console in the console you are getting the output now the next one this all are the different data type you can use for the as you can see the arithmetic operation if you want to use the arithmetic operation you can create two variables with some value so i will create my variable a and b with value similar to your c programming you can create different uh, variable to store the value like a plus b i want to perform the a plus b similarly you uh, for the sum you can for the sum you can use the plus operator similarly for the subtraction you can use minus operator similarly for your division operator you can use the slash sign and the multiplication part you can use your multiplication sign that is star mark so a into b similarly if you want to print them you just have to write the variable name that is i want to print the sum so suppose if you want to print uh, your variable with some message suppose sum is equal to uh, you want to print the sum variable then you can use the dollar sign dollar sign will print your value under the double quotes so i want to print the sum similarly i want to print my subtraction and then uh, subtraction variable you want to print the multiplication so i will print multiplication is equal to and then dollar sign to assign my multiplication variable and then last one is my division so i will write division so division is equal to then again dollar sign to assign my variable name and then tada i will run this part and then slash sign you are getting the issue here a divides b what is the issue value of double 
so as you can see the double can't be assigned here the division of your 11 by 12 is the double your output will be under the double so if i will change the value of a sorry if i will change the value of a to the 12 and my value of b to the 4 and i will run this program will it run no why it is not running here because you are using the integer here so so what is the solution of it you can use the variable what is where keyword why we are using the where keyword the where keyword will assign your value according to the output so if your output are in the decimal your where will be work like a double if your output are in the string your where will work like a string so whatever your output will be it will work like that variable that data type so suppose if my value is 11 here so as you can see you are getting the double data type here now let's move to the next part decision statement as you can see the next part is my decision statement so decision statement can under we'll see the if else condition it is quite simple uh, first we'll declare two numbers a is equal to 11 and my b is equal to some number or the 12 if a is greater than b then i will simply print a is greater so a is greater else what do you want to print b is greater so else so i will print b is greater so it's simple if else condition i will run it again as you can see b is greater because your number is 12 if i will write 15 here i will run it here so a is greater this is your decision statement now let's see how to create a function under your dart programming so for the function part i will simply run the factorial of a program factorial of a number so for the finding out the factorial of a number we are going to use the recursive function so for the recursive function first we have to create the factorial very uh, factorial function here so i'm using the factorial function i'm creating the factorial function with one argument and here under the factorial part if the number if my number that is user is entering user will enter some value now so if user enter the number less than zero that is negative less than or equal to zero then i will simply return one because you have to find the factorial of positive number only else i will write my logic here so what is my logic logic is quite simple i will return number multiplied by the previous number because what is factorial factorial is nothing but if you want to find out the factorial of four it is four multiplied by three into two into one it's quite simple the num number multiplied by the previous number so i can write number multiplied by factorial of my previous number that is number minus one only so let's see the output now i will run it again so you are not getting an output because it's a function now so you have to call out your function so i will write print and then i will call my function that is factorial and then i will provide the number as four so after running your program i will put semicolon here so after running your program you are getting 24 because factorial of a 4 is 24 similarly so why you are not using the for loop i just wanted to show you the recursive function that's why i had used here the recursive function concept but if you want to use the for loop it is similar to your uh, c programming variable i and then variable i will start from your one and i will go till your 10 or the 11 and then i plus plus if you are writing here if you are writing here i is equal to 11 then it will uh, run your i till 11th number but if you are writing less than only then it will go till the 10 so i will write i here so output will be 1 to 11 number i will put semicolon here so output will be 1 to 11 number so if i will write here less than 11 so your output will be till 10 
now what is the next part so after the next we'll take the user input now let's see how to take user input or the user interaction under your dart programming so if you want to take uh, the user input so first we'll print some message here it is a user interaction so i will print some message to provide the user interaction so enter your name i will take the name from the user and after taking the uh, after giving some message to the user i will take the name under the string variable so string i will create one variable with the name and std in as you can see after writing the std in i am getting dart.io because std in uh, resides under your dart.io so std in dot read line sync read line sync under the read line sync i will put semicolon so now we are getting some error here so as you can see the string to the type string question mark what is question mark here it is for the null safety to avoid the null values i will use a question mark here so to provide the null safety you can use a question mark similarly i will take the age of the user so i will write enter your age so user can enter the age as you know the age is of integer data type i will again use the question mark for the null safety here and then age is equal to you can write again the std in dot read line sync std in dot read line sync and then semicolon again you are getting some issue here now so add casting so you have to cast your string input into the integer so for the casting i will use int dot parse function and i will provide this whole value all the whole part under my in dot parse so now after taking the user input also also you have to provide the exclamation for converting this string to the integer now after taking the input into the string it will be converted into the integer and then will be stored under your integer variable now i will print both of them to print both of them i will simply write print my name is then again dollar sign to provide the name variable to assign the va variable and then again i am then dollar sign again and my variable name years old now let's see the output now i will run this code so it is asking my name i will enter my name and then my age as you can see the output my name is sumit and i am 11 years old so that's it for today class we'll see the next part in my next video this is your practical number one of the mobile programming thank you so much for watching my video thank you